He says L.A. County Sheriff's deputies threatened to shoot him as he sat in his parked car on New Year's Eve. Now the rapper known as Feezy LeBron is suing the department. There is video of the incident and our Leo Stallworth shows us. The entertainer and his attorneys holding a news conference here in Pasadena arguing that the entertainer posed no threat to law enforcement. Yet and still they threatened him and they say the law enforcement must pay. Stop, stop, stop. I'm just going to spray him, dude. Watch out. Yeah, all right. I'm just going to spray you. Get out. New Year's get Eve, just before 6 p.m., an L.A. County Sheriff deputy threatens to use less than lethal force to get Daryl Scott, whose professional name in the world of music is Feezy LeBron, to comply with his demands for Feezy to exit his vehicle. Feezy refuses, and things escalate. Take off in this car, and shoot you. I'm going to make it super easy on you. You put this car in drive, you're getting one white to the chest. I don't care what you got. I don't care if you got on you, but guess what, bro? Now you got to deal with it. But if you pull some Going to take one to the chest. The sheriff's department saying deputies initially approached Feezy in the 14,900 block of Crenshaw Boulevard when they noticed he had a missing license plate on his vehicle. The deputies citing Feezy for the missing plate. Feezy argues he was just sitting in his car waiting for a friend when suddenly he had to face his worst fear a law enforcement officer pointing a gun at him. And I was scared to death. You know, I didn't think I was going to make it home to see my kids. Feezy claiming his civil rights were violated, and he is suing the sheriff's department, seeking $10 million in damages. His attorney's confident they have a strong case. Mr. LeBron did nothing more than ask for an explanation. When the second deputy, Justin Sabatine, started pointing a uh, pepper spray at him first and then immediately went to a gun when the pepper spray didn't immediately work. The deputies briefly detaining Feezy but not arresting him. The sheriff's department saying they've opened an investigation into the deputy's actions and language. This was absolutely discriminatory and racist. Attorneys for Feezy saying the sheriff's department has to be held accountable. When you've got a gun pointed in your face and someone's threatening you, that's criminal. That's gangster behavior. It's thuggery. Feezy and his attorneys claim the mentality of policing nationwide must shift away from targeting people of color as criminals. The behavior that we see in this case where a man is primarily charged with parking while black in a public parking facility, doing nothing other than talking on his phone. I think it's a, a mentality a lot of officers have, you know, and it's, it's ingrained in, into them and their whole system. You hate cops? I don't hate cops. I love cops. Feezy says he appreciates law enforcement for keeping our communities as safe as possible. He just wants the bad apples weeded out. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.